ISIS is again calling for would-be terrorists to commit solo attacks at home. In the most recent issue of its English language magazine, ISIS encouraged potential terrorists to carry out stabbing attacks like the attack in Minnesota last month. The article explains how to choose the right kind of knife and benefits of knives as weapons. That's all pretty much in line with ISIS's recent strategy for promoting terrorism abroad. A video put out by the terrorist group back in August suggested using everyday items as weapons. And ISIS has also been encouraging would-be terrorists to commit solo attacks instead of carrying out large-scale operations. That might be because the terrorist organization is losing territory at home. And according to the Foreign Policy Research Institute, those losses are causing the group to change tactics from conventional military operations back towards regional and international terror attacks. A number of knife attacks have been carried out recently by people claiming to be supporters of ISIS. On Wednesday, two Belgian police officers were stabbed in Brussels. Officials suspect it might have been an act of terror. For Newsy, I'm Grant Sunison. To the index tonight and the new report into a deadly chopper crash in Seattle. The news helicopter from Como, our ABC affiliate, going down after takeoff in 2014, bursting into flames on the street. The NTSB issuing its final report today, believing hydraulic failure caused it to spin out of control. Como also reporting that the pilot was trained on the most recent pre-flight checklist, but the list inside the chopper was a previous version. Longtime pilot Gary Fitzner and photographer Bill Strothman died in the crash. And of course, our thoughts with the team at Como with this back in the news tonight. The freight train derailing in New York City, eight cars jumping the tracks in the rail yard. All 99 cars were empty at the time. No one was hurt, but Amtrak was forced to suspend service between New York City and Connecticut for a time. The trains are now running at reduced speeds. The cause is under investigation. And a passing to note tonight, the man behind the music. Michael Jackson's Thriller, and it was Rod Temperton, the songwriter behind some of the biggest hits of the 70s and 80s. He wrote Michael Jackson's Thriller, Rock With You, and Off the Wall. He tested about 300 titles before settling on Thriller. Quincy Jones calling him, quote, one of the best, period. Rod Temperton was Thank you.